Hello and greetings from Iceland, but finally we have some news from the volcano, but as you might have noticed, it's been dormant for a while now, and we have been asking ourselves, is it the end? And the short answer is, uh, we are not sure yet, but we are for sure seeing some changes in earthquake activity, but I spoke about it uh, the other day in a video that the lava tube under Geldingadalir was behaving strangely. And uh, one of the questions that I had then was, uh, will it erupt uh, elsewhere or closer to Mount Kailir? So here we have a shot that shows uh, the location very well. And under this line, we have a magma tube between the crater and uh, Mount Kailir. You can also see it on the map where I'm including the uh, current earthquake swarm. But behind uh, Mount Kailir, you can see our capital. And I want to remind you that I edited some of the volcano footage from last weekend together with some music and I'm leaving a link for that video to you. But I didn't have any news to cover by then, like now. But the earthquake swarm just picked up last night, so we finally got a statement from one of our experts today. The biggest one measured 2.5 and we have not seen them so big since before the eruption started. So there is definitely something new happening. Our experts say that there is some uh, tension changes going on, but it's difficult to say exactly what it is. They say it doesn't look like a magma intrusion, but these are of course uh, active uh, plate boundaries and the tectonic plates keep on moving despite the eruption, so that might be the reason. But geologists say that uh, these earthquakes can be a possible prelude to the eruption coming to an end. And uh, there are samples of uh, such uh, development. So this is theology. I ask one question and I get uh, three or four questions in return. But it's also the part that makes it uh, exciting. Reminding us about that we are just those uh, tiny bystanders when it comes to the construction of uh, Mother Earth. What uh, scientists uh, can do is to poke some instruments into the ground, try to make something out of the graphs, but we cannot control anything. And all the technology in this world can only help us to make a run for it in time. So we just have to wait and see what is about to happen. And uh, as usual, I'm leaving a link to the seismometers uh, live view. And after all, we are entering a period of uh, 200 years of unrest on the peninsula. And uh, just about anything can happen there. On this burnt out land where our stupid forefathers built a capital by a mistake. What a mess. But uh, as for me, my volcano tour was a good one. Not just uh, for this volcano, but for the bigger picture throughout all the wonderful formations we have all around my country. And after the trip to the volcano, I took off to the westernmost part of the peninsula, and that is where all our problems start, or where the mid-Atlantic ridge rises up from the seabed, and thereafter it is called Iceland or where the Eurasian and the North American tectonic plates drift apart. The seismic activity around there has been uh, way more than usual, and I've always had the feeling that the next episode might occur around here. So the drone footage was just what I needed to make that video that will be online soon. But uh, I did more in this trip, and on the way back north, I found this wonderful view over just a small part of a volcanic system that has been waking up in West Iceland. I will, however, cover that uh, later on since I still need more footage. And uh, further north, I made an old dream come through, or to fly over 1800 uh, small hills. And I got a great uh, light for the job, but a heavy wind, so I drained uh, all three batteries just for this uh, location. But it was worth it. This place remains a mystery. Experts can't explain fully those uh, formations, so in that video I am going to ask some of the questions that I'm asking myself while driving around Iceland. And I'm hoping that both uh, experts and uh, armchair experts will have uh, fun with this uh, puzzle, because this landscape is just so interesting. But my next video will however be about a small Icelandic town with uh, no volcanoes, and they have Christmas all year round. So in between my volcano updates you will see that kind of content, often uh, tourist related, but always packed with uh, local information. And please note that I'm leaving a link to my Redbubble store where I'm selling prints of uh, some of my work. 
I wish I had uh, some more uh, time for it, but uh, it's growing little by little, and it is a good way to support my work and get something uh, just Icelandic in return. And uh, remember to check on the seismometers, because I have the feeling that the volcano is up to something, sooner or later. And with that, I'm sending you best regards from the Volcano Island, Iceland.